Hello, my name is Jacqueline de Graff. I'm curator of the Drexel Collection at Drexel University. Uh, we're really fortunate to have a collection here at the university uh, started by Anthony Drexel in 1891 uh, when he first opened uh, the university. Uh, he gave his first president, James McAllister, $1 million to go to Europe and bring back art paintings, sculpture, textiles, silver, porcelain, so that the students could see art firsthand. Uh, so Anthony Drexel founded the collection uh, and we've been adding to it um, ever since. So we're now up to about 6,000 works of art. Uh, this painting is by Francis Martin Drexel. Uh, he's the father of Anthony Drexel. Um, he was a portrait painter, uh, born in Austria, who came to America in 1817. Um, he painted this portrait in about 1825, and um, it was uh, exhibited at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. Uh, so here we have a portrait of Anthony's father at the easel, um, his mother, and his sister, uh, Mary Joanna. Um, this painting is sort of successful not only because of um, his skill as an artist, but the organization of the composition. Uh, so we're very lucky to have this uh, portrait by Francis Martin Drexel. Um, we have 29 paintings by him in the collection. Uh, this painting is by uh, the Swiss artist Calame, C-A-L-A-M-E. Uh, Calame studied at the Dusseldorf Academy. Uh, their mission um, at the Academy was to teach artists to portray a uh, landscape uh, the way the eye truly saw it. Uh, these two paintings are by the French artist uh, Corot, uh, probably the two most famous paintings in the Drexel collection. And Corot was an artist who wanted to uh, go back to the painting style of landscape the way the French artists did in the, um, in the 17th and 18th century. This um, tall case astronomical musical clock by David Rittenhouse uh, made in about 1773 is the most important piece in the Drexel collection. Um, it came to us from George Childs, um, from his widow. Uh, George Childs was the best friend of Anthony Drexel. And it's long been considered the most important clock in America. Uh, David Rittenhouse was a, a clockmaker. Um, he was an astronomer and a land surveyor. Um, the, the scientific aspects on the clock that make it so important are the orrery or planetarium at the top, which shows the six known planets known in 1773. Uh, the dial on the upper left shows the sun and the moon in the zodiac. Um, the dial on the upper right shows the equation of time, the difference between solar time and mean time. Uh, the dial on the lower left shows the revolution of the moon around the earth and the uh, dial on the lower right is a tune selector, the clock plays 10 songs. 